www.jillbernat.com. Today I'm going to show you how to weave in your ends when you're finished your project. So let's get started. So today I have a motif made out of Bernat Super Value and I'm using a blunt tipped large eyed needle and I'm going to be weaving in my ends but I'm going to show it to you in this contrasting color just so you can see what I'm working on instead of using my actual end. Now this method would be the same whether this was done in rows versus how it's done in the round here. And basically what I want to do is I want to take my needle and just go through that layer of loops that's on the back. You don't want to poke it all the way through, so I don't want to have something like this happening. I want to sort of skim along the surface. So I'm going to grab these two loops and pull my yarn through, and we're going to imagine that that's attached. But, and then I'm just going to turn my work and I'm just going to follow along a couple more loops. And then what you always want to do when you are stitching in your ends or weaving in your ends is you want to double back so that it locks it into position. So I've kind of been coming this direction so I'm going to go over this one loop here and come back so that it's nicely locked and then I am going to just go through a few more and what I want to show you is here is my needle going through my loops, if I were to turn that over, you can't see it at all. And that's what I mean by just skimming those loops at the back here on the wrong side of your work. And I want to pull through a few more loops until you've got, you know, a little bit woven in. And what I want to do when I go to cut it off, I want to give this a little bit of a tug, snip it really close to the base there. And your end, if you tug your work, will slide sort of underneath the loop so that it's hidden away there. So that's how you do it if your piece is nice and solid. You just kind of want to follow along the loops. Now the other thing I want to show you is if you had a lacy piece like this. So it's a little bit harder to, you can't zigzag and cross all over. So I'm going to show you again, but I'm going to be using this white yarn here. And just so you can see it, but basically, so we can imagine that this was my yarn tail and I'm going to do what I did before, which is kind of slide it through some loops here. Now there is no really precise right and wrong way to do this, but what I want to do is I want to follow, I could follow up along here or I could follow along here. And basically what I want to do is follow along and not have my yarn tail cross over any of these sort of open pieces. So what I'm going to do is make sure I'm pulling my loop through, following along a stitch. So I've gone along the bottom there, you can see, but you can see that the, my white yarn, but if I were to turn this over, you cannot see it on the right side. So again, and then maybe what I want to do is I want to come up the side here, and again I'm just pulling sort of underneath some of those loops but not going all the way to the front. And remember what I said before was to make sure at one point you double back. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna, I've come over and I'm gonna go over this loop here. And here we go, we're coming through and over. I'm gonna go over here. And I'm just gonna do the same thing that I did before, which is when I grab my scissors, when I grab my scissors, I wanna give it a little tug Clip it nice and close and then your little tail will sort of sink back into it. So that's, so that's all there is to weaving in your ends and we'll see you again at Bernat.com.